Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new, join. Uh, well, that was creepy, okay, but, but why not? So, everyone and their mother is currently doing the Chloe Ting two-week ab challenge workout thing. So what did I decide to do? Yeah, I, I also decided to try it. Now, do I believe that I will get abs in two weeks? Absolutely not. But am I still gonna try it? Absolutely. Chloe Ting has promised us abs in two weeks. So, therefore, we're gonna see if she lying or not. It also depends on how active you are and how toned you are to be with so obviously it differs person to person but if you have never exercised in your life and you're about to do this I do not personally believe that you can get abs in two weeks I might be wrong I don't know and this is why I'm doing this challenge is to exactly find out if we can get abs in two weeks okay I honestly have no idea how I didn't realize that this challenge thing was not that one video only it's a whole challenge and there's a whole series that you're supposed to follow for two weeks no wonder people were looking so transformed and i was like why did this not really work for me and now as i was sitting down to edit and i had a look online at other people's videos i realized that there's a whole series oh my god okay you know what never mind we've done it now so i'm gonna post this video and at least I'm showing you what the results are if you do just that one video for two weeks. Subscribe. <laughs> Now, I'm a regularly pretty active person. I work out at least four to five times a week. However, I have been severely neglecting my abs because actually I hate working out my abs. I really don't like it. I actually don't like doing body weight exercises anymore. That's how I started about two years ago when I first started working out. I was obsessed. All I did was body weight. When I found out about weight training, I just said goodbye to body weight. But that doesn't mean body weight is bad to do, but I just haven't done it in ages. And I thought, you know what? I need to stop neglecting neglecting my little abs here. They need attention too. And so I decided I'm going to do this challenge. And yes, I did measure myself. Now, let me just say a few things about measurements and measuring tapes. I don't really believe in measuring tapes. I don't like using them. I don't think they're very accurate. And I just, I just, I just don't like them. But last time I made a video trying someone's workout, a lot of you guys asked me to measure myself next time. And so I'm doing this for you guys, but really, I don't think there's going to be much of a difference. And I don't want to rely on on what the measuring tape is saying. There are days when you are gonna be bloated, there are days when you're gonna have a lot of water weight, and it's not accurate in my opinion. But for this video, I did measure myself. These are my measurements, as you can see. I hope you all are happy that I did that, no matter how much I did not wanna do that. <laughs> anyway, the exercise I followed, I will link down below. It was like a mixture of 18 to 20 exercises, so I did that for 14 days. I didn't do any other ab workouts at all. When I was weight training, obviously you're working your core and your abs, so that's also adding on to ab workout, but I didn't do any other body weight ab workouts. And I guess I'm just gonna show you how the exercises went. <laughs>
say that these exercises were necessarily difficult, but again, I did mention that I am someone who works out regularly. So if you're just starting out, then you might find them a little bit more challenging and that's totally fine. When I first started, I literally couldn't breathe. I hated my entire life and I just did not want to continue. So I get you 100%. But the more comfortable you become with them, the better it is. And honestly, if you want to actually get abs, first of all, I recommend weight training. But if you just want to do body weight stuff, you can definitely get abs. It will just take a longer time and you need to be patient with yourself. And if you want really challenging ab exercises, then just go and do some of Pamela Rice's exercises because damn, that girl kills me every single time. She does a lot of body weight stuff. So I highly recommend her videos. When I first started working out, she is the first person that I discovered, the first fitness guru. I followed her ab and butt body weight exercises for a whole month. You can actually go watch that. It's really interesting. This was my first ever workout video. This is the first time I ever really worked out properly. And this was two years ago, maybe a year ago. Maybe I'm making that up. I'm not really sure. It will say under the video when I posted it. It's crazy to see how far I've come and it's just fun. You can achieve a lot in 30 days, but don't be fooled and think that you're going to turn into, I don't know, ripped Hercules Tarzan looking thing because that's not going to happen in two weeks. It's not going to happen in 30 days. It's not even going to happen in a year because to really bulk up and look like that, unless you're doing things like eating three to 4,000 calories a day and lifting super heavy, you're not going to bulk up. So you don't need to worry about that. Basically, her exercises were fine. They definitely got easier throughout the days. If I were to do it again, or if I were to continue doing it, I would definitely add weights to some of them, like the Russian twist, for example, and just other ones where you can add weights just to make it more challenging. All in all, I did enjoy it. They're not my favorite though, so I don't think I would continue with them. Nothing wrong with them, just personally, I'm not the biggest fan. And again, changes take so much time. That's why whenever I do these challenges, I do them because honestly, I actually think they're so much fun. I love setting myself a challenge. It's just fun for me. But deep down, I know that at the end of the day, I'm not gonna look that different in two weeks. But there will definitely be a change if you're active for two weeks versus if you're not active for two weeks, there's 100% gonna be a change. But what you have to remember is the nutrition and your diet. That is probably 80% of how you're gonna end up looking is based on what you eat. So if I had been eating crap for two weeks and doing these, I either would have looked worse or nothing would have changed. So it's really, really important what you put into your body. That will show serious results and a great outcome if you're careful with what you eat. Anyway, the moment you've all been waiting for, here is the result, the after two week progress. I honestly think my measurement was exactly the same. I don't know if I just wasn't that bloated that day or if, you know what I mean? Like I don't want to rely on the measurement. I will put the measurement exact what it was, but I can definitely see that my abs look a little bit more defined. Nothing crazy, but I mean, these exercises are nothing crazy, you know? Also, I was stuffing myself with calories and calories and calories because right now I'm actually trying to gain weight. So, you know, if I had been cutting down maybe calories a little bit, I would have been a little bit leaner because I would have lost a little bit of fat, but that just was wasn't my goal. That wasn't my target. What I'm trying to do is tone up whilst gaining calories. Again, if you want to lose more weight, obviously cut down on calories and cut down on what you're eating. But please, please, please do some actual serious research and don't just eat a salad because that's not going to get you anywhere and it's probably very unhealthy for you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up to show me that you liked it so I'm aware. Comment down below who you would like to see me do next. I have done Kendall, Romy, Pamela, now Chloe and Kim Kardashian booty workout is coming out in a few days. I've been doing that for a week straight and uh, let's see, did I get a booty? I don't know. You can also follow me on my Instagram where I post regular fitness content. It is body by olive. So go and check it out if you are interested. I'd appreciate it a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already for weekly videos. Sometimes I post twice a week, sometimes once. I don't know, it depends. It just kind of happens. So subscribe if you want to see more of my content and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.